Now, unless you feel like sitting on this nice hard metal ground, it's probably a good idea to install some seats. Now, here are the seats that I chose. You probably saw them laying around in some of my videos. Now, whenever you install seats like this on a go-kart, what you want to do is they're probably going to have um, kind of a, I don't know what you want to call this, a padding on one side of it. Make sure the padding goes to the outside, and that's because it's going to, of course, protect you from anything that's coming inside. And you don't want it on the inside because you want to be able to access your parking brake and also your uh, shifter. So again, make sure that the padding or the barrier is on the outside. And also, these seats are going to be secured to the frame by two bolts. Now, let me go ahead and show you. Now, these are the bolts or the areas where the bolts go right here. And these little things right here, let me see if I can get a better angle. You see that they kind of look like grappling hooks? What they're going to do is they're going to slide into a bracket that's on the bottom of the frame. And I'll go ahead and show you guys that bracket now. So I guess I might as well show you guys this now because probably whenever I cover this with a seat, I'm not going to be able to get a good camera angle. But those grappling hooks, hook looking things, they're going to slide right under here. There's one there and one there, two for each seat. And there's two over there for the passenger seat. And the bolts, what they're going to do is they're going to go through the area in the seat that I just explained to you guys and bolt into the frame right here. So two bolts hold in the back section of the seat. And these two, I don't even know what you want to call them, clamps or whatever, they're going to hold in the front section of the seat and that's going to make sure that your seat is nice and secure. So now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and position your seat. And again, before you worry about lining up your bolt holes, Make sure that they go into these uh, brackets in the front because that's the part where you really can, uh, you really need to watch out for that first. You can always uh, work on your bolts later. So this is kind of a tight spot to get in. And these are always a pain getting in, by the way, so just warning you now. And like I said, right now we're just worried about the little clamps in the front. We can always worry about, worry about the holes in the back later. So once they're in, Nice and tight, good to go. Now, if your seat isn't going in properly and if it looks like once your clamps are in front then it's not gonna fit, then what you can do is you can position the uh, adjustment. This seat slides forward and back, and when you slide it either forward or back, it may help your bolt holes in the back line up. All right, so let's see if I can get these babies in here. This should be fun. Got a feeling I'm gonna need the hammer sometime. Go ahead and stick that one in first, and you actually probably want to make sure that you stick both of your bolts in first before you start tightening anything up. Alright, so now we got both bolts in, and make sure, just double check that both of your front pieces are in their little slots. And they are, you didn't mess anything up. So now what you want to do is of course put your washer on, and then your lock washer, and then your nut. And this is always a, kind of a pain in the butt because everything, thanks to gravity, is falling towards the floor, and I want to put it in the opposite direction. And my fingers are about as big as sausages, so. And actually, with my seats, it's kind of weird talking to the camera like sideways. But anyways, with my seats, the brackets on the top, they're really uh, skinny, so I can't get a wrench on there to hold it stable whenever I tighten these. So whenever you have uh, an instance like this, what you can do is you can either put your wrench in sideways, or if that doesn't work, then you can use vice grip. So I'm gonna try to do this first, and hopefully it works. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about with a wrench position. You see how like you normally hold it like this to get a good grip on it? Well, you can just hold it vertically. And you don't really need to get an entire bite on it. You just need to keep it from spin spinning. Almost pinched my thumb there. And there we go. Nice and tight. So there you have it. Our seat, our driver's seat at least, is now installed in the go-kart slash dune buggy safe and secure you can go ahead and sit down give it a test now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, install the passenger seat without foaming it because it's the exact same process and I don't think I need to uh, take you guys through that it's pretty obvious how it goes so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install that and after that we can move on to the next part